So after the pills fail, the opioids doesn't manage your pain, the incense fail, the naproxen, the you know, gabapentin, they send you to pain management, right? And what are they injecting you when you go to pain management? Cortisone, so you got shoulder pain, you get a shot here. You've got uh, disc disease, that you get epidural in your back, in your neck, or your knee. And then how long does that first cortisone last? Maybe three weeks, then you go back again and they give you another shot of cortisone. What happens after the second cortisone? Nothing, the pain gets worse. Why? Cortisone's a steroid. And one side of it's a steroid is it eats your vitamin D. Without vitamin D, can you build bone? Your okay, bones get weak, it osteoporosis. It eats your joints. So your neck, your back, your knee, your hip goes bone and bone faster. Why would the hospital give you cortisone when they know it's going to eat your joints and go bone and bone faster? Because they want the knee replacement, it's more profitable for the back surgery, okay? So there's a consequence by taking these drugs, these injections and surgeries. What other injections do they give for joint pain? They give you a clue. Cock glitter will do! Remember the rooster comb injection, the chicken card? Hyaluronic acid, synvis, orthovis, soup parts, visco supplementation. How many injections do you need with that? A year. Every three months. Because it doesn't last. It's fake joint fear. You're better off spraying Windex in your knees like the Greeks do. At least that's free. Okay? 